how's it going, guys? Welcome to Audio Addiction. We have Makari with us. What's and up? They say their names and what they do in the band. My name is Andy, and I sing for Makari. And I'm Jay. I play bass. Awesome. So first question, as does every band, how did you start out Makari? How did you get your members? Um, so we started out, we were all friends in high school, okay. with the exception of Andy, <laughs> who we picked up along the way. But yeah, we were friends in high school. We played in bands with each other for a really long time. And we just kind of decided to start getting serious, got out, started touring. We toured with Andy's band, Wander, mm -hmm. and kind of just hit it off. So how did it come to be that, like, Andy joined? Because obviously I had known about your band, Wander, as well as, like, your YouTube stuff. So, like, how did like how did that come to happen? Like, I mean, obviously the turn of events that you had a vocalist and then he left. So, like, what what made you pick Andy, I guess, is, is my, my question, pretty much. After seeing Andy live and getting to hang out with him and kind of getting to know him a little bit, we couldn't think of anyone else that we wanted to be the oh, singer of our band. Oh, man, this is so wholesome. We, we actually had the conversation, the four of us, <laughs> the day our singer decided to leave, and we all kind of unanimously were like, if Andy wants to do it, that's who that's who we want. So well, how, was, how was that moment for you, Andy, where they like, oh, well, you? they're like, yo, uh, man, you want to sing for us? Um, it was actually like Eric, the guitar player, uh, called me to fill in for a tour. Oh. At, that was like at first, and I couldn't do it. I was like, ah, oh, sorry, you know, I, I have too much other shit going on. Um, but then they were kind of persistent, um, and I don't know, I was a big fan of Elegies, like, really into that EP, uh, and Wander was sort of winding down at the time, we, we stopped touring, uh, so I decided, you know, let's give this a shot, and we did a single, um, and that was kind of like a test. I, I flew to Florida, I lived in Maryland at the time, and we recorded Control, which was like our first song we ever did together. Um, and then once we were in the studio recording that song, I was like, okay, this is, this feels right. right. I should definitely join this band. Um, and so, you know, it was a no brainer at that point. Now you're in like three bands, so. Yeah, <laughs> I'm going overboard a little bit. Yeah. Well, my next question, guys, you do a lot of touring. So what are some favorite venues or cities that you like to hit along the way? That's a good question. Thank you. Um, my personal favorite right now is uh, in McAllen, Texas, believe it or not. There's a place called Iberia Cultura, which is really good. Texas always shows out, and that particular venue is just usually packed for us. I also really like, um, what's that venue in Berwyn, Illinois? It's like Chicago. Oh, The Wire. The Wire. Yeah. Uh, really it's cool a, place. It's a great venue, and the promoter that we work with when we go there is fantastic. Awesome. He always takes great care of us and is very organized. Yeah. Oh, and this place is rad, too. Voltage mm -hmm. Lounge in Philly. I love it here. Only our second time here, but one of my favorites. Making, it, making the best of the moment. There mm -hmm. we go. Awesome, guys. My next question, the follow-up to the venues, what was the last show that you attended that you didn't play? Oh. Um, um, I guess for me it was... DGD, Don Broco. Oh, nice. And yeah. What was it? Who else? Was it that? Thousand Below for your yeah, date? Thousand yeah. Thousand Below, Covet. Nice. Yeah. Okay. It was sick, really great. They sick. came through House of Blues in Orlando, and it awesome. was a fantastic show. Um, I went to that show too, but <laughs> I want to say uh, I, I saw Brand of Sacrifice. Oh yeah, they're yeah, sick. Oh, yeah. <laughs> sick. I saw them in a church, uh, and it was really cool. Uh, and they're super heavy. Uh, that was a sick show. Awesome, guys. Next question, the big one. Who are some of your musical influences? Who do you guys draw from? Oh, man, that is... I could go on forever. <laughs> yeah. um, early stuff was like My Chemical Romance for me uh, and Gerard Way. 30 Seconds to Mars, Jared Leto, uh, Kurt Travis. Just basically the whole DGD repertoire has influenced me a lot. Uh, Jimmy Eat World, um, A Day to Remember, you know. Yeah, of course. The Devil Wears Prada. I was a big metalcore kid growing up. Yeah, I, I also listen to a lot of My Chemical Romance, especially like the Sweet Cheers yeah. album. Um, three Cheers. Three Cheers. Oh, three Cheers. Close. <laughs> well, yeah, close. Well, close. <laughs> um, I listen to Chiodos a ton. Oh, yeah. Um, obviously, uh, you could probably hear it in our music. Circa was one yeah. of the yeah. big yeah. instrumental Chorus influences yeah. for us. Chorus. Awesome, awesome, guys. Next question. As I mentioned, you're on the road. What are some bands that you've been jamming? While you're in the van, all that sort of stuff. Um, I like this band called Dwellings uh, from California. Do you know who they are? Yeah. yeah. On uh, Blue Swan. Shout out to Isaac. Um, let's see. What else? I've, I've been listening to a lot of heavier music. Uh, the new Veil of Maya single. The new yeah. Issues album. Yeah, the new Issues I've been spinning is. that one a lot lately. 
Um, there's this band called the Dally Thundering Concept. I think I'm saying that right. From France, just this really heavy tech metal band that I'm like, yes, they're awesome. Uh, I guess not really. It's more progressive, but they're sick. <laughs> Close enough. <laughs> Awesome, guys. Next question, another fun one. If you could pick a song to cover, what would it be? Oh, man. Ooh. <laughs> uh, you mean like as a band? I feel like as a band, yeah, that would make the most sense. Well, I know you do okay, covers. So we but... just, actually, we yeah. just did a Circus Survive cover. Me and Jay and our guitar player, Eric, did the song Get Out. So that's pretty much mm -hmm. what we, yeah. you know, <laughs> that was the choice. Um, I guess if we were to do another one. Uh, like an MCR, like like Helena or something, it would be. Ooh, yeah. okay. I don't know. Or you, you know what they do to guys like us in prison? Oh, would yeah. be fun. Oh, okay. We've been talking yeah, about yeah. that one, yeah. but never got around to there it. There we go. Well, now it's on the internet, so I feel like people are gonna be like, "Come on, guys, when does this happen? With responsibility." Now it keeps you accountable, man. I know that. But uh, the next thing, guys, gotta ask: You're on tour. Favorite food to eat? What's the go-to meal? Um, well, we don't get a lot of good food on tour. Usually, we eat like shit. <laughs> But I'm just so. a classic pepperoni pizza guy. That's my favorite, always, in pretty much any situation. I will get a cheeseburger anywhere. I cheeseburger anywhere. Yeah. Okay. We're, we're pretty basic. Yeah. I guess. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, guys. Next question. If you could pick somebody to collaborate with, whether it be a guest vocalist on your next record or a producer you'd like to work with, who would it be? Damn. Um, good question. Okay, Thank so... You. Producer-wise, I'd love to work with Chris Crummett. I think mm -hmm. he's amazing. Yeah. Just that overall, as an engineer and a producer, like I love his mixes. Um, in terms of collaborating with an artist, uh, my friend Andreas would be Ooh, cool. Ooh, shout out yeah. to Andreas, my boy. Andreas? Yeah. Love you, baby. Love you, too. <laughs> uh, but yeah, yeah, those are two, two of mine. Yeah. Same? You agree? Mm -hmm. Awesome. Awesome. Next question, guys. My personal favorite, because I'm a nerd and I love asking it, if you could be a video game character... Who would you be? I love these questions. Ooh. Thank you. Thank you, right, my you dude. First. I had to think about this, Jay. Well, I also need to mull. Um, I guess I... Okay, so <laughs> there's a couple. Um, <laughs> so, you know, Jack and Daxter. Oh, right? yeah. Okay, uh, so I always thought Jack was really cool. And uh, I don't know, when I was young, I would, I would always be like, oh, man, I wish I was, like, in this video game, dude. <laughs> um, I don't know. Uh put me on the spot no Ooh. dude these are the toughies I, I, especially I feel like from I would have a better answer uh, um my favorite game is Majora's Mask oh, classic um so Link <laughs> let's just go with Link yeah I'm a huge Kingdom Hearts nerd Ooh, so Sora yes, please yeah. there we go awesome guys next question if there was another musical instrument you could master what would it be oh wow hell yeah uh piano for me yeah, yeah. I piano wish. or drums yeah, okay. Drums, are sick, drums would be sick. No I have no, no ever no, and yeah. feet coordination no, whatsoever. I can't sing to Pete for yeah. shit, so <laughs> it's over for me. Awesome, guys. Next question: If you could compile a dream tour, who would be on a lineup? I feel remiss to say that you're on the tour, so like you know, sure, yeah, sure, obviously. Oh man, dream lineup. I mean, shooting for the stars. It would, I think Dance Gavin Dance would be on there, mm -hmm. uh, or Circus Survive. Um, Man, I mean, if we're really going out there, I'd say like shoot for the like stars, man. Deftones or something, Ooh. or like Ooh, that would be cool. Like the Mars Volta, or you know, what I mean, something like okay. that. I'm liking it. I'm liking it. That could happen. I feel like that me. seems in within reach. You, you don't have one? No, I got nothing. <laughs> I mean, obviously, DGD and Circa would be yeah awesome, yeah, yeah. and we would fit super well. I feel like that that can happen. So internet, Someday. let's do it. Let's do it. Next question, guys. In your opinion. Who puts on a great live performance? Oh. Who just rips it um, live? Like a band, right? Like, like a band. Or you um, could do a solo yeah, artist. Uh, I mean, I was blown away when we saw Don Broco. I thought they put on a yeah, they hell cool. of a show. Definitely. Um, I mean, Let Live was tight. Oh, yes. Um, they put on a cool show. Uh, the Chariot was cool. I mean, those are... Every Time I Die. Oh, let's say that. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Next question, guys. A fun one. Favorite TV show, favorite movie? Favorite TV show. Ooh. For me, it's probably Always Sunny in Philadelphia, which we're, we're in we're Philadelphia. Uh, favorite movie, I can't really pick one. It's always changing. Um, What's the current one, then? <sighs> At the time, Andy. You know what? No. <laughs> you know what? My favorite movie is The School of Rock, because oh, it, it yeah. inspired Ooh. me when I was a kid. That's, that's my go-to. I'm going to say that one. I like that. Great yeah. choice, Andy. Thank you. 
favorite TV show? Probably South Park, just oh, because I've been great. watching it since I was like 12. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, my favorite movie is actually The Tourist. It's with oh, Angelina Jolie yeah. and yeah. Johnny Depp. Oh, yeah. I remember toy, that. Toy. He, he, like, changed his face. And, mm -hmm. yeah. Awesome, yeah. guys. Next question. If you were trapped on a desert island and there's one record you could bring with you for the next month, because I'm not a mean person. I feel like a month's yeah. feasible. What would yeah. it be? Uh, mine would be Happiness by Dance Gavin Dance. It's like my all-time favorite album. Same. 100%. Nice. Nice. I would agree with that. Solidarity. That's actually a hard one. I was, <laughs> I was in a way too much crap. <laughs> yeah, I, I do. I do, too. But, yeah. I guess currently... I would take that Issues record. Ooh, really? Wow. Pretty much okay. through and through. Oh, that, or I would that say record is awesome. In Rainbows by Radiohead. I can That's also a classic. I love that album. Awesome, guys. And then the last thing, the most important thing, tell them about Macari, where they can find you out on the internet, and uh, anything coming up in the next yeah. couple months. So, Macari, uh, M A K A R I, <laughs> uh, you can find us anywhere Spotify, YouTube. We got plenty of music videos. Working on new music, work, working on some other secret special stuff um we've always got shit in the pipeline so you know just keep an eye out keep an eye out well you should go check out their newest record hyper real it's one of my favorites i loved it um i'm excited for new material because i feel like you guys are just punching it out and you're doing the good shit yeah, so man. i gotta gotta get you on but check the links in the description to find out about makari where they're coming to you in a city near you and if you enjoy this interview share it like it, subscribe, it goes a long way. And thanks, of course, to Makari for coming on and chatting. Oh, thanks dude, for thank having you. us. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Audio addiction, man. Hell yeah. Hey, guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, thanks for watching, of course. Uh, if you enjoy what we do, make sure to go check out the other series we do. We do album reviews, we do band interviews, and we do live videos. So definitely go check that out. Um, hit that subscribe button. It really helps our channel, helps us grow. Make sure to hit that like button as well. Uh, go follow us on social media. That's all down below. We try to keep that as updated as possible. We also made a new website where we'll be posting photos of upcoming concerts and stuff like that, which you can go check out at audioaddictionmedia.com and come get your fix with us, guys. Talk to you later. Deuces.